So we have an island that can support a population of a thousand lizards, uh, and there's currently 600. Um, they have a lot of offspring, not a lot of natural predators. They have a very high growth rate, around 150 percent. And so if we were to start writing out our situation here, our starting population is 600, and our logistic model, uh, because we have a carrying capacity, a s maximum sustainable population, we know we're, we're using logistic model. Our growth rate, uh, our natural growth rate is around 150 percent, uh, so that'd be 1.5 written as a decimal. 1 minus p n minus 1 over our carrying capacity of 1,000 times uh, p n minus 1. So if we started calculating out a couple years, uh, our population after one year would be uh, p0 plus 1.5 times 1 minus p0 over 1,000 times p0, or in other words, 600 plus 1.5, 1 minus 600 over 1,000 times 600. Uh, and if I calculate that out, I get 960. If I do the same thing for the next year, so starting at 960, 960 uh, over 1,000 times 960, uh, let's see, if I calculate that out, I get 1,018. And you'll notice something here, 1,018 is bigger than 1,000. Uh, so we, our population has exceeded the carrying capacity. Uh, what we've basically done is because our population is growing every year, um, discreetly, uh, because of this huge growth rate, we can overshoot the carrying capacity. And so what we would expect to see happen then is in the next year, this limiting factor, remember that this, this term here is our limiting uh, factor, this fraction is now bigger than 1. So 1 minus 1,018 over 1,000 is going to be negative, which means my population is going to decrease, not increase, and this indeed comes out to be about 991. If we were to continue calculating out values and graph them, uh, we would see a graph that looks like this. Our population increases very quickly at first, then increases again, more limited, overshoots the carrying capacity, and then drops down, and then s fairly quickly levels off at the carrying capacity. Now interestingly, uh, if we looked at another population where the growth rate was even bigger, uh, say 205 percent, uh, and we were to calculate out a few values, the growth would end up looking something like this. And you'll notice that the population is alternating between two populations. Uh, so it overshoots the carrying capacity, then falls back below it, and then overshoots again and falls back below, and stably bounces back before th between these two values. And it might be really tempting to say, well, this is just some weird fluke of mathematics but it's actually been observed in nature with lizard populations in California. Interestingly, you can even take this further. If the growth rate gets larger, you can start seeing things like a stable four cycle, where the population is grow bouncing around between four different values, or if the population gets even, sorry, the growth rate gets even larger, then you can get what's called chaos. Uh, you may have heard about chaos back watching Jurassic Park or something like that. The idea behind chaos is that small changes in the parameters cause completely different results. So if this growth rate were to increase to, say, 2.91 or 2.901 even, then the entire behavior of the population would drastically change. Uh, so it's entirely impossible to make any real predictions based on the uh, logistic growth model with a population like this because there might be small errors in those uh, calculations of growth rate which would completely throw off uh, any predictions that you might try to make.